additional electrons of oxygen and they're in close proximity. So as a result of that, negative charges will repel each other, start repelling each other. And as a result of that, repulsive forces will weaken the bond, right? Because in order for them to stay closely together, the attractive force has to be more and repulsive force has to be minimum, right? So technically, if you can keep on increasing the atomic number, this, this problem of electron density around that is going to further weaken the bond and after some point of time it will not be technically possible for uh, them to form bonds. So the smallest one with valency 4 which is actually carbon for this only it is possible to have arrangement of electrons and to have electrons around it, have elements around it in close proximity without affecting the stability of the bond. So that is what we call and that is what is actually catenation, catenation property. property which is enables carbon to form long chain of okay. carbon compounds either with the help of single covalent bond, double covalent bond or triple covalent bond. Right? So this is what the catenation property of carbon is. Now, next thing which is most important here is that see as you can now see uh, carbon can form I mean normally uh, single bonds single covalent bonds were represented with a single line so it can form bonds like this right single single bonds like this and now you can understand that three carbons can form one compound four carbons can form another compound five carbons can form another compound right let's let's try and understand the basic basic structure of uh, or simple structure of the simplest structure for carbon which is possible so the simplest structure is let's consider let's consider carbon reacting with hydrogen so carbon and hydrogen right so carbon has got four electrons around it Hydrogen has got one. one each. So let me represent this is dot and cross structure. So I'll represent hydrogen with cross. So this is one of the simplest structures possible between carbon and hydrogen, right? So as a result of that, I can represent this as C, one single bond H, one single bond H, one single bond H, and one single bond H, right? Now what do you see here? Are all the participating elements, that four hydrogen and one carbon, are they all stable? Let's check it. This hydrogen, the top one has one and two electrons because as I said the bonded pair of electrons are counted with both of them both the participating elements so this hydrogen is stable similarly this hydrogen is stable this hydrogen is stable and this hydrogen is stable right what about this carbon so carbon has yes, one two three four five six seven eight right got it now let's say let's talk about another structure where you have two carbon atoms so for two carbon atoms we can have a structure like this two carbon atoms and hydrogen right I'll explain why hydrogen just understand this structure first so this is gonna be like this this is gonna be like this double bond share between two carbon atoms again one hydrogen over 